Welcome to our review on alkanes. First thing we need to know is the very important definition of a hydrocarbon. So hydrocarbons are compounds made from hydrogen and carbon only. And you can see I've given you an example of a question that they used to ask for two marks, just asking you for that definition. Your first mark is for saying that it's a compound made from hydrogen and carbon. The second mark is for the word only. So make sure that you do learn that definition. When we're talking about an alkane, we are talking about a form of hydrocarbon. And they form what's known as a homologous series because they've got key features in common. So the features that they've got in common are they've got the same general formula and they are saturated. And when we're talking about a saturated chemical, we're talking about one that only has single bonds between the atoms. In terms of identifying the name of an alkane to actually work out what it's telling us, they're very logical. So the first part of the name actually tells you the number of carbon atoms that are present. And I've given you a table on the left to summarize those prefixes associated with the number of carbon atoms. So anytime you see an alkane that starts off with prop, for example, then that means it has three carbon atoms. If it was pent, it would be five. And all of our alkanes end with A-N-E. So that's how we know it's an alkane, which tells us that it's only single bonds. It's a saturated compound. And when we know the general formula, we can work out exactly how many hydrogens are present based on the number of carbons from the first part of the name. So when we actually look at alkanes and their chemical formulae, then they've got a very clear pattern. And that is going to give us the general formula. You do need to know this general formula. So the formula of CnH2n plus 2 is the general formula for an alkane. So when it tells you that there is an alkane that's got four carbon atoms, work out the chemical formula for this, then replace the ends with four. So it would be C4H, and then we need to work this out. Two times four is eight, plus two gives us 10. So it would be c 4 H10. If you don't know the general formula, you are going to struggle with this. So make sure you've learned the general formula for the alkane. The other kind of formula they could ask you to write down in the exam is the displayed formula. So this is where we need to remember a couple of key rules. First one being that a carbon atom will form four covalent bonds and a hydrogen atom will form one covalent bond. So if they ask you to draw the displayed formula for propane, prop tells us there's three carbons, ane tells us it's alkane, so only single bonds, which means you put your three carbon atoms as the backbone along the middle first of all, and then we make sure that each carbon has four lines coming off it. Some of them will join onto carbons, others will have nothing at the end, and those ones with nothing at the end, you put in your hydrogen. Use the general formula as your check, so it will be C3H8. There's our three carbons, and around the outside, we have eight hydrogens. In terms of the reactions of the alkanes, the first kind of reaction we're going to consider are the combustion reactions. And we've got two types of combustion that could occur, complete combustion and incomplete combustion. If we consider complete combustion first of all, this is going to lead to the complete oxidation of the hydrocarbon into carbon dioxide and water. So we start off with whatever hydrocarbon it is, we add oxygen to it, and we make just carbon dioxide and water. Incomplete combustion then is when we have insufficient oxygen present. So as a result of there not being enough oxygen to carry out the complete oxidation of our hydrocarbon, we actually form three products this time. We form carbon, carbon monoxide, and water. So when there's limited oxygen available, it will be incomplete combustion, which will be the hydrocarbon plus oxygen makes carbon plus carbon monoxide plus water. And obviously remember carbon monoxide is a little bit of a dangerous gas because it has no taste, no odor and no color, but it is very poisonous to us as humans. So if you breathe in too much, you can actually suffocate as a result. 
Hopefully at the end of this video you can name the first four straight chain alkanes and draw their displayed formulae. You can recall the general formula for an alkane. You can explain why alkanes form a homologous series and you can also predict the products of the reactions of the alkanes from complete and incomplete combustion.